Hi there, welcome to your weekly live stream. I'm Carol and this is your core flow class. So we're gonna be getting a little bit twisty today working with some crossbody exercises and poses. Go ahead and grab yourself a block and then come on down onto your mat and we will get started. So coming down onto your back getting comfy, let your feet fall apart, just allow your arms to come away from the body and letting your shoulders drop down into your mat. Settle in. And then take your three big grounding breaths. So you're inhaling to fill the belly, fill the lungs, and then sigh it out through the mouth. Again, inhale, full expansion. Sigh it out through the mouth. One more. Allow your natural breath to return. And as we work through our class today, always remember to modify or adjust any exercise to really suit where you're at. And just making this practice work for you. Take another deep breath in. Let it go. And then inhale, reach your arms all the way up and overhead, come into a full body stretch. So lengthen from fingers to toes, wake everything up, and then exhale, soften in place and your shoulders drop. Inhale, lengthen, full body stretch. Exhale and soften. And walk your heels, your head and your hands over to the left hand side. So we're gonna come into our crescent moon. Gently stretching the side body here. Keep breathing deeply. Try and keep both hip points grounded down onto the mat. And then bring it through center and take it over to your other side. Again, trying to keep both hip points down onto the mat. And come back into center. One more full body stretch. Inhale. Exhale, both knees coming to chest winding pose. Inhale, nose to knees. Exhale, head down onto the mat and circle your knees. Nice circles, really massaging, and warming the low back and the core. And we're gonna switch it up and go the other way. And we're gonna bring it back into center. We're going to send our right leg down to the bottom of the mat and we're gonna extend the left leg to the ceiling. Support your left leg, point and flex your foot a few times. And then you can walk your hands up the back of the left leg and you can begin to lift it up, nose towards knee. Take three big breaths at your own count and on the third exhale, you'll come down. Draw the knee back into the chest and then gently open your hip to the side. So nice hip stretch. Leg is heavy, hand or arm, left arm is your kickstand here. Keep breathing. And go ahead, guide your leg over and across the body. So you roll into a twist. Your left arm opens wide. Your left shoulder is rooting down towards the ground here. You can even gaze over your left shoulder if you'd like. And then we're bringing it back into center. Give our leg another little squeeze. And then we're gonna release down to the bottom of the mat and draw the right side up. Extend your right leg, support, and then point and flex. A couple of times. And we're going to walk our hands at the back of the right leg. We're gonna lift it up, nose towards knee. And take three big breaths once again, lower down on your third exhale. Knee 
knee comes back into chest, and then the hip opens to the side. Again, the legs heavy, just a passive stretch here, gentle opening for the hip. And guide your leg over and across your body. Roll into your twist. Right arm opening wide. Right shoulder blade making its way down towards the ground. And back into center. Lengthen your leg all the way down. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Full body stretch. Exhale, both knees come to chest, winding pose. Inhale, lift it up, nose to knees. Exhale, bring it down nice and slow. And then go ahead and let your feet come down onto the mat. We'll bring our arms nice and wide and we'll just rock the knees a few times from side to side. Just making sure the low back is nice and warm and ready for some core work. Okay, the first exercise you're gonna come into is you're going to go ahead and grab your block. If you don't have a block today, don't worry. We don't absolutely need it, but it is a nice addition because it makes sure we're keeping this diagonal across the body nice and connected, nice and strong. So both feet up off the mat, both knees are bent. Your block is coming to your left thigh. Your right hand is coming on top of your block. And we're sandwiching the block there, strong activation. The left arm and the right leg will be moving. So on your inhale, you will lengthen. And on your exhale, squeeze and bring it back into center. If you're looking for a little bit more, you can curl up. So base of the shoulder blades to the mat. Lengthen and bring it in. And you'll notice I'm bending the left elbow here as I bring it in, mimicking the same movement as the knee. Keep squeezing your belly, navel draws to spine. Two more. One more. And bring the feet down, bring the block to the side, little rock of your knees. Back into center, feet up off of the mat. Repeat, other side, block to right thigh, left hand to block. Squeeze, activate. Opposite limbs will be working here. If you're looking for extra, curl on up, lengthen, bring it in. Lengthen, bring it in. Inhale, exhale. Keep the core strong. And do three more. Three, two, one. Bring it down, block to the side, knees into chest, circle your knees. Other way. Feet will come down onto the mat, about hip distance apart, and now evenly press all four points of your feet down into the ground. Interlace your fingers. Bring your hands to the back of your head to support your head here. Draw your navel to your spine. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, peel on up. Find that upper abdominal curl. We're holding this curl. And then we're making little circles with the torso in one direction as you hold your curl. Circle your torso. Keep pressing the feet evenly into the mat. We'll match the breath. We'll exhale as we come forward and up, and we'll inhale as we come down and back. Exhale for that lift. Inhale down. Two more. We're not done, though. When you've done those two, you're going to hold your curl right here and ten little pulses. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, come down. Reach arms up. Inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw them down, soften the shoulders. 
Inhale, reach arms up and overhead. Exhale, bend the elbows, draw them down, soften the shoulders. So we're going to do that again. We're going to interlace the fingers, bring them to the back of the head. Take a deep breath. Engage your core, exhale, lift. And now you're sending your circles the opposite way, going in the opposite direction. Little circles with your torso. Inhale down, exhale up. Three, two, one, center hold, 10 pulses again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep squeezing. Eight, nine, 10. Down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. And now widen your arms, lengthen your legs. And widen your legs. You're a great big star shape on your mat. So we're still working with this cross body. And I'll give you a few variations for the exercise. First variation, uh, inhaling down, exhaling, left leg lifts, right arm lifts, and we're coming up with it to touch the toes, and then we're bringing it all back down. Your next variation would be just the arm and the leg. So we'll tap the shin, we'll keep the head down. And your next variation will be bringing in with a bent knee and a cross and a bent knee. Okay, so wherever you are, let's go. Big breath in and exhale, left leg, right arm. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more. Bring it down, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, exhale, let's come to the other side. So squeeze the core and then inhale down. So feel free again to add in any of those modifications. Perhaps the other side of the body needs this exercise slightly differently, that's okay, make it work. Reach. Two more. Last one. Come down, big star. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, knees to chest, winding pose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then you can rock and roll and come up. Or you can roll to your preferred side and then just come on up and flip it all the way over to find your tabletop position from your table. Let's go through some cow cats. So inhale, belly drops, chest drops, gaze lifts, cow, exhale, cat, round your back, tuck your tailbone, gaze between the knees, cow. Keep going. One more of each. And find that nice neutral table. Squeeze your core, navel to spine. We're going to come into our bird dog or balancing table. So you're going to extend the left leg out behind you, bring it up off the mat, flex the foot, option to extend your right arm. Reach from fingers to toes. Hold for four breaths. Halfway. Big breath in. Exhale, crunch. Elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Remember, you can do this just working the leg. We can bring the hand down if we prefer. One more, bring it in, everything back to the mat. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat, 
table. Other side, right leg. Extend and lift. Press through that back heel. Lengthen the left arm if you would like. We're holding for four. Keep it strong. Inhale. Exhale, crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. And bring it all down. Inhale, cat. Tabletop. Tuck your toes, send your seat back, and then lift those hips up and back. Down dog. Walk your dog. First one of the day. Pedal your feet. Really get into those hamstrings. Stretch out the back of your legs. Okay, let's hold our down dog. So pressing evenly through the palms. Rooting your heels down towards the mat. That might mean softening the knees slightly so you can really press and lift your hips up and back. Deep, deep breaths. One more. Now step your right foot forward. Drop your back left knee and take a low lunge. Your left hand stays where it is. Your right hand comes up for your twist. Deep breaths. You can always bring a block under that left hand here if you'd like. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring the hand down. We're going to rise on up in this low lunge. Arms extend and then we're going to pull the arms down. Bend your elbows. Inhale. Pull the arms back. Lift the chest and the gaze. Exhale, straight spine and close your arms. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Reach your arms up, palms together. And then exhale, we're going to move into a little prayer twist. So we're going to bring our left elbow outside of our right knee. So we twist over towards the right, fold it forward. Hold it there, nice and strong, keep breathing. We're gonna inhale to come to center, extend the arms. And we're gonna exhale to fold, hands down, step back, plank. Drop knees, chest, chin, so that little inchworm, hug your elbows. Slide and come up, Cobra. Come down, press up through table and back, down dog. Walk it out. And hold. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale, step left foot forward. Same sequence, other side, so the back knee drops. Right hand's rooted this time, left hand sky, find your twist. Lengthen through the fingertips, and then bring the hand down. Rise up. Settle into your low lunge, soften your shoulders. Bend the elbows, draw them down. Once again, open, inhale, close. Open, inhale, close. Open, inhale, close. Palms reach up. And then we twist over to the left. We're coming into our prayer twist. So right elbow, outside left knee, fold forward. Strong hold here, deep breaths. Inhale through center. Extend the arms, fold, frame your foot, lift the back knee, step back, plank, drop knees, chest, chin, hug elbows, inchworm, slide cobra, come down, up through table, back down dog, deep breaths. So we're going to do a very similar sequence, but with a lifted back knee. So let's take that for a go. Inhale, extend your right leg out behind you. 
Exhale, bring your right foot forward, step it down now, rise on up, crescent lunge, settle, soften your shoulders. Remember you can do this with your back knee to the ground if you prefer, just go through that sequence once again. Otherwise, palms together, we're bringing this right on into our prayer twist. So you twist upper body towards the right knee and you fold forward, left elbow, outside, right knee. Press back through the left heel. See if you can spiral your chest to the ceiling. Keep breathing. A little bit extra, you want to do something fancy, open the arms, inhale. Exhale, close. Open the arms, inhale. Exhale, close. Bring it through center, reach. Exhale, fold, step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana or inchworm, your choice. Find your cobra or your upward dog and make your way down dog. Breathe. Strong breath. Inhale, left leg out behind you. Exhale, bring that left foot forward. Step it down, rise on up. Find your crescent lunge, nice and strong. Shoulders soften. Keep breathing. Palms together. Draw them down. Twist over to the left. Right elbow, outside left knee. You know where you're going. Settle yourself into this prayer twist. Spiral your heart to the ceiling. Go for a little bit fancy if you like. Open the arms on your inhale. Exhale, close, palms meet. Open the arms on the inhale. Exhale, close, palms meet. Inhale through center, reach. Exhale, fold. Step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana or inchworm. Find up dog or cobra. Up and back. Down dog. Resting pose. Believe it or not, deep breaths. Couple more. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees a little, gaze forward, and then hop or walk to the top of your mat to come into your forward fold. Head is heavy, neck is relaxed. You can let the arms hang down. Just enjoy this. Even add a sway, if you would like. Sometimes that feels nice. Then come to center, and let's bring in a little twist here. So we'll walk onto fingertip outside of left foot. We'll bend the left knee, and we'll lengthen the right leg. So you're gonna feel this on the outside of the right leg, outside of the right hip. Now bend both knees so you can walk your hands over outside of the right foot, keep the right knee bent, lengthen the left. And then soften both knees and come to center. We're going to gently unwind ourselves all the way up to stand. Inhale, reach. Palms together, exhale down through heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chair pose. Bring your hands down to your heart. Sit down like you're sitting in an invisible seat. Bum out behind you. Tuck your tailbone slightly. Core strong here. Lower you go. The more of a challenge this is. So decide where are you going to hang out because we're hanging out here for five big breaths. Breathe in and out. Inhale, exhale, soften the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, press firmly through the feet. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, dive forward fold. Take a sway. Come to center, inhale, half fold. Exhale, full fold, plant your hands, step it back, plank. Inchworm or Chaturanga Dandasana. Then find your cobra or your upward dog, your choice. Up and back, down dog. 
deep breaths. So we're going to go for a little sequence all the way around the mat today. So deep breath in, lengthen your left leg out behind you. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Cartwheel your arms and come up so that you're in warrior two. So we're opening wide, bending in left knee, lengthways to the mat. Inhale, lengthen leg and arms. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, side angle. Left forearm to left thigh, right hand sky, or left hand outside of left foot, right arm up and overhead. Always an option to bring a block under the left hand as well. Bring the ground closer to you. On your next inhale, rise. Reverse your warrior. So, flip the left palm, send it up towards the ceiling, right hand, down the back of the right leg. Now reset, warrior two. From here, lengthen the legs, drop the arms. Close those left toes slightly. Open the right ones just a wee bit. Find goddess, sink it down. Knees bend, hips sink, arms wide, cactus arms. Deep breaths, very strong pose. And we're gonna add to it. So inhale, see if you can lift the heels and then drop them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Two more. Lift and drop. Last one. Lift and drop. Lengthen your legs. Release your arms. Warrior two to the right knee. So close off left foot. Open up right toes. Bend in right knee. Warrior two. Other side. Lengthen and reset, lengthen, and reset, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold, inhale, exhale, side angle, so right forearm, right thigh, or right hand outside of right foot, left arm ceiling, or up and overhead, keep breathing, Inhale to rise, reverse warrior. Keep breathing here. Inhale. Now exhale, cartwheel your arms back down to the mat, frame your foot, step back, plank pose. Chaturanga Nadasana or inchworm, come down. Find your upward facing dog or cobra, up and back, down dog. Hold. Deep breath. Inhale, left leg out behind you. Exhale, step your left foot forward. We're gonna come up and find warrior two. Back with the left knee. You got it. Facing the other way this time. See, I told you we're going around the mat. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hold, inhale. Exhale, side angle of choice. Hold and breathe. Inhale, rise, reverse warrior. Hold to breathe. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Release the arms, lengthen the left leg. Close the toes slightly, open the right toes. Get back into your goddess. Sink your hips, bend your knees, cactus arms, strong core. Inhale, heels lift, exhale, heels lower. Inhale, heels lift, exhale, heels lower. Three more. Settle, breathe, release the arms, lengthen the legs. Open up the right toes, square off the left foot. Warrior two, right knee bends, arms wide. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale. Exhale, side angle. Breathe here. Inhale, rise. Reverse your warrior. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel those arms back down to the top of the mat. Frame your foot, step back, plank. You got it, Chaturanga Dandasana or Inchworm. Cobra or Up Dog. Up and back, Down Dog. Deep, deep breaths. Gaze to the top of your mat. Walk or hop, forward fold. Half fold. Full fold, rise, arms meet, down through heart center. Release your hands by your sides. Now find a moment of pause into the asana. So bring the feet beside each other. Lengthen the legs, lift the kneecaps slightly. Tall spine, shoulders away from ears, palms face forward. Relax your jaw. Close your eyes, breathe. Just notice how you're feeling. Notice all that vibrant, fierce energy you've got running through your body. And just take a moment to thank your body for how awesome it is. Everything it does for you every day. Take a deep breath in, reach. Exhale, palms down through heart center. And we'll come into our tree pose today. So, tree pose. If you know your tree, you're gonna go ahead and do it. But I am gonna give you a few cues if you would like. So you're gonna press your left foot down into the mat and you get nice and strong on the left side. That's our grounding side, our trunk. Right knee is gonna face forward and then we're gonna lift the right knee up and then open the hip to the side. See, now we're using the strength of the hip here. And then we're gonna bring the foot in to the left leg. So we can bring it in toes to the ground, heel above the ankle. We can bring it in above the ankle, below the knee. If you would like to, you can bring it in to the upper thigh on the left side, your choice. But if you are bringing the foot to the inside of the thigh, make sure you're not loading into it. Draw that left hip back in, strong, strong core, belly in, navel to spine. Keep opening the right hip. Now find your branches. Every tree is different. There are no wrong branches in your tree pose. So explore. If you're really looking to challenge your tree, you can try closing your eyes. <laughs> Floating your arms around a little bit. Just playing, just exploring. And then find your expression of your tree and hold it for three breaths. And release and step down. Shake out your left leg. Let's take it to the other side. So right foot, ground it down. Switching trunks to the other side. Strong belly, strong core. Left knee comes up, left hip opens. Use the strength of your hip and then place the foot to the right leg. And again, wherever you place that foot, try not to load into the hip, draw it back in. Draw the core in and up, strong, strong belly. Find your branches for this tree. And again, explore and express. Play with the pose a little bit. Close the eyes, float the arms around. Have some fun. And then find your expression of this tree, however it might look, and hold it for three breaths. Step it down, release, shake it out. Take a deep breath. 
Bring it down as you come to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to come down through Malasana or that deep squat. So feet face out slightly and you sink your hips, you bend your knees, elbows come inside of knees. Now, if this is not accessible to you today or you would rather not, then just come through a forward fold. If you're in your Malasana, we'll hold. If you're in your forward fold, we'll hold for a count of three. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Wherever you are, release yourself down onto your seat. And bring your feet out in front. So we're going to come into a little bit of a twisty boat. You have variations for this. Ground your sit bones. Right, shoulders away from your ears. Keep that belly strong. It's always all about the core. Bring the feet up off of the mat. And use your thighs for support here. Use some support into the boat pose. Or if you would rather, you can float your hands wherever you're at. Just find a boat. Now, twisty boat. You can take your left hand to your right ankle. You can bring your left foot down to the ground here if you would prefer for a little bit more support. Otherwise, we're going to lengthen the left leg and we're going to open the right arm. Twisty boat. Keep breathing. Big breath in. Now exhale, drop the left leg or lengthen it and bring your right foot over top so we're crossing it and then we'll take it into a twist so that right hand now drops behind us as we gave over the right shoulder. Deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale, travel through center. Just take a bow over to your left side and come back up. Lengthen the legs, shake them out, feet back up onto the mat, twisty boat on the other side. So lean it back, feet up, find your boat. You can use support of the legs, you can float the hands, couple of breaths. Now right hand reaches for left leg. Again, right foot can come to the mat or we'll lengthen right leg, left arm opening to the side. Inhale, exhale, drop the right leg or lengthen it and now cross your left foot over. Le right hand to left knee, left hand drops behind you. Gaze over your back shoulder. That is an awful lot to think about. Settle in. And bring it back through center. Take a bow over to the right and back up. Lengthen left leg, shake it out, inhale, reach, lengthen, 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 exhale, fold, forward, fold. Remember you can soften your forward fold by bending the knees and pressing the heels down once the sit bones are still grounding. Settle in. And slowly come up. Walk your feet up onto the mat, and from here, we're gonna come down onto our backs. You can walk down or we'll go for a roll down if you like. So reach forward, draw the shoulder blades onto the back, draw the belly button to the spine, deep breath in. Now exhale, start to lean it back, but as you lean it back, continue to reach forward. So you can really slow your roll. Slow, slow your roll, and then come all the way onto the back and reach the arms up and overhead and soften, lengthen the legs, inhale, reach full body, exhale, soften and from here draw both knees into your chest and take your winding pose and just rock it from side to side. From here, we'll bring our feet down onto the mat, about hip distance apart, heels kind of closer to your seat. We're coming into a, just a little bit of bridge before we really wind it down. So hands down to either side of you, palms down. Backs of the arms are pressing firmly into the mat too here. 
Inhaling. Exhale, engage the muscles, draw the belly in. Inhale, press left. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Two more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. This one will hold. Inhale, up. Exhale, hold your bridge. Deep breath. Again, inhale, keep holding. Exhale, squeeze the glutes a little bit more. Lift. Inhale, left arm up and overhead. Exhale, left arm floats down, but we still hold bridge. Inhale, right arm up and overhead. Exhale, right arm comes down, but we still hold bridge. Inhale, both arms up and overhead. Exhale, here, arms rest. Inhale here. Exhale, float both the arms all the way down and then slowly bring your back down. One vertebrae at a time. Release, soften, inhale and exhale. Okay, stack your left leg, figure four. And then go ahead and reach around your right thigh. Hug it in. Enjoy the stretch. Deep breaths. Feel free to lengthen your right leg today if you would like. Getting a nice stretch down the back of the right leg. As well as across and around the left hip. Breathe in, breathe out, bend that right knee, and then gently release the right foot to the mat. And from here, we're going to let the legs fall to the right, so that left foot is going to come down to the ground. Arms wide. And back into center. Now take your left leg, extend it to the ceiling, drop it down, and then step it in. Right side stacks. Settle it in, then reach around your left thigh, hug your legs, find your figure four. Extend your left leg, bring in that additional little stretch today. Inhale, exhale, bend your left knee, and then let the left foot come to the mat. And now legs fall over to the left, so right foot comes down to the mat, arms are wide. Now bring it back in center. Right leg, extend, ceiling, drop it down, step it in. From here, both knees into chest. Reach between the knees, find happy baby. So if you wanted a relaxed happy baby, you could reach for the shins and let the knees fall wide. If you want an active happy baby, you're gonna reach for the soles of your feet. Your knees come wide, soles of the feet to the ceiling. Root the tailbone down and then explore the pose. Roll around, lengthen your legs, just have some fun. This is a very joyful pose, so enjoy it. Explore it. Take a deep breath in, open up your mouth, stick your tongue out and sigh. And do that again, deep breath in. Exhale, open your mouth, stick your tongue out and sigh. Awesome, deep breath. Exhale, knees together. Squeeze, hug them towards you. 
and then release your feet down onto the mat. And lengthen your legs if you would like to, or you can keep the knees bent and just bring your hands to your belly. Soften your shoulders, close your eyes. And we're just gonna close this class with a couple of rounds of some pranayama. We'll do the block breath today, four point breath. So inhaling through your nose, fill your belly to the count of four. Now hold to the count of four. Exhale through the nose to the count of four. And hold to the count of four. Repeat in for four. Hold. Exhale four. Hold, inhale, go at your own pace. Now take a deep breath in, full expansion. Don't worry about counting it. And sigh. Feel free to stay here a little bit longer if you would like to. Just rest and breathe, nourish your body. Give it whatever it needs, even if it needs a few more stretches. And then when you're ready, You'll gently roll to your preferred side and come up and away from the mat. Thank you so much for joining today for your live stream. Namaste.